Washington did not like the conditions under which they were detained, so they tried to burn the place down. Here's ABC's Dennis Trout. Flames from the burning prison shot into the sky over Lorton, Virginia, early this morning. Officials said prisoners had set the fires one after another in a planned effort to burn down the entire institution, even going so far as to pack up beforehand. A number of the prisoners had bagged their belongings <clears throat> and had them ready to go to take out of the building, and they were piled up in front of a number of the dorms. Inmates fled the smoke and flames to an open baseball field on the grounds. Shortly after daybreak, one prisoner stabbed another, and a group of 100 tried to rush the guards. During that and other confrontations, officers fired blasts of birdshot and tear gas. In all, 29 inmates were wounded, one critically. Nine officers and six firefighters also were hurt, but not seriously. The fires had damaged 13 of 14 dormitories. Of nearly 1,300 prisoners from the damaged buildings, two-thirds are being bused to other facilities. A court-ordered study only two days old had predicted just such an explosion in overcrowded Lorton. District Mayor Marion Berry said media exposure of that report caused the blow-up. And quite frankly, we believe it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Here in suburban Virginia, officials say if the District of Columbia doesn't now make permanent improvements at Lorton, they'll ask the courts to step in. Dennis Trout, ABC News, Lorton, Virginia.